I'm back and welcome to Mo's Life in a Bag and welcome back to a brand new video. If you are new here, don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a brand new video here on my channel. Today, you guys, I am on the struggle bus. As y'all can see, I am currently in the DFW airport, y'all, and it's nighttime as y'all can see let me tell y'all basically like what's going on right now it is currently probably around about like 10 30 or so i'm not exactly sure because i took my watch off but it's probably about like 10 30 at night as you guys know i am a dallas based flight attendant but i live in memphis so that makes me a memphis commuter all of my trips originate and fly out of Dallas, but I have to fly to work since I have chosen not to live in Dallas at base. So I have to fly from Memphis to Dallas to start all of my trips. That means that when my trips get back to Dallas and they land in Dallas, I then as a Memphis commuter have to catch another flight to fly back home, right? Okay, just a little rundown for those of y'all are who are new here and don't know that. I finished a, a trip today and I was booked on my commuter flight to go home, which was at 5.30 and I didn't get a seat. So basically when I booked myself on the flight, I checked in for it too late and when I fly, I fly on standby. So I checked in too late and there weren't any more available seats for me to get on the flight. So I missed the flight. That was at 530 this evening. So I had to get rolled over to the next flight, which didn't depart until nine. So I missed the 530 flight. The next flight left out at 903. Got to the gate for that flight and I didn't get on that flight either. So at this point, y'all, it's no more flights that leave out of Dallas to go back to Memphis, which means that I am stuck in DFW right now, y'all, because there's, there's no other way for me to get home. I probably could have checked like some other airlines, but I didn't do that. I immediately, when I like didn't get on that nine o'clock flight, I just started calling hotels, like the hotel that I normally stay at by the airport, I called, but they didn't have no rooms. None of the other airport hotels had no rooms. Like none of the hotels had any rooms tonight, y'all. I, I don't really know like what, but basically since I was not able to get no hotel room, I have to sleep in the airport tonight, you guys. Now, as y'all know, some of y'all may not know, some of y'all, most of y'all probably know if y'all been rocking with your girl since day one, y'all know that in every airport there is an operational area for flight attendants and pilots to sleep, eat, chill, relax. You know, it's nothing too fancy. It's not like they got like beds up there for us or anything. They have like recliner chairs and cots for us to sleep on. So that's basically what it is. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I go back up there. So that is where your girl is going to be laying her head tonight since I could not get out of Dallas to go back home to Memphis. And I can't lie, y'all, I'm pretty like bummed out about it. I mean, everybody likes to sleep in their own bed. And then, you know, obviously like a hotel would have been much more like ideal, but none of the hotels have rooms. So your girl is stuck at the airport and will be sleeping in the airport tonight. I went and booked myself on the first flight out in the morning to go to Memphis. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm gonna keep y'all posted on that to see if I get on the flight in the morning to make it back home. We'll see. For right now, I am sleeping in the DFW airport tonight. And yeah, y'all, this is pretty much like my life as a commuter flight attendant. And this is what happens sometimes. Like sometimes you just can't get home. Just like as a commuter, sometimes you can't make it to work. Like sometimes I will, there have been times where I have been trying to fly out of Memphis to get to Dallas to start my trip and my flights cancel out of Memphis. 
and I can't make it to work. So that has definitely happened before. So like, if you are interested in becoming a flight attendant, let's just say, you know, whatever airline that you apply for, you look at the, their bases that they have, right? So you look at the bases. So like for my airline, the bases that we have, DFW, Philly, New York, DC, Miami, Chicago, um, Charlotte, um, I think that's it. San Francisco? I don't know, but them basically are bases, right? So let's just say you applied to become a flight attendant, right? Then let's just say you got hired. So when you get hired, they give you the list of bases to choose from where, where you want to be based at, right? So then let's just say like you get end up being based in Miami, but you don't want to live in Miami. You want to live at home. Let's say you live in Houston. Okay, so you live in Houston but you got based in Miami. Let's say, okay, I don't want to live in Miami. I, don't, I want to live in Houston. You have that option to become a commuter, but things like this is what can happen. And it's not pretty, y'all. Like, I'm very, very exhausted. I just got done with a trip. I didn't plan on sleeping in the airport tonight. I had planned on being in my bed by now, by this time, so back in Memphis. So I'm like, not really, you know, it's not an ideal situation, but it just is what it is. And this is a part of the job. And, you know, trying to give y'all like the real, real for people who really are interested in this lifestyle. Like this is pretty much what it is. I'm about to take y'all upstairs and show y'all <laughs> where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. And just kind of like, you know, you know, let y'all see that part. And yeah, after that we'll probably talk again in the morning to see if i get on this flight to go home let's go upstairs all right y'all so it's pretty quiet up here so i have to be pretty quiet but first i'm gonna show y'all the i'm gonna show y'all ops then i'm gonna show y'all the um sleep room so this is Ops. It's basically what it looks like. It's a refrigerator over there. For us to put our food. And I got my meal, some of my meal prep stuff in there. Since I'm having to stay overnight in there. And uh, some of the supervisors sit over here. Got computers for us, tables, chairs, and then over here, y'all can see like a bunch of people got their luggage over here, and then and here is like another room. Sit and like you can do your makeup and stuff over there. I got a mirror right there. This is just one of the ops, y'all. It's a ops in D, a ops in A, and a ops in C. I'm gonna show y'all what the um, quiet room looks like and where I will be sleeping. And I have to be really quiet when I go in there, y'all, because there's a couple people in there that sleep. It is the next day and it's probably about 6.30. My flight this morning boards at 6.57. So I am on my way to the gate right now. Oh, I'm about to hop on the Skylink and head to Terminal B. Please don't judge me. Yes, I have on the same clothes, okay? I woke up, brushed my teeth, washed my face put on some deodorant <laughs> so you know I didn't change my clothes 
but I changed my face mask, so that counts as something, right? Because we have to sleep in our masks. When we sleep up there, we have to keep our mask on. So I was like, ugh, you know what I'm saying? So after I brushed my teeth and stuff, I, I switched out my mask. So, hmm, there you go. <laughs> so y'all, this is really funny. I figured that, you know, I would try to talk to these gate agents that were on the Skylink with me because they were like young, probably like my age. So I was like, you know, it won't be a, such a bad thing to make friends with, <laughs> you know, a gate agent that would probably come in handy. And so here I am at 6 a.m. like trying to start up a conversation and they just was like, not like, girl, please stop talking to us. <laughs> They did not want to talk to me. So I'm just like, okay, sorry. I know it's early. <laughs> I literally had to come all the way to freaking no man's land because some of the flights from Dallas to Memphis are on the regional carriers. And so I fly for Mainline, as y'all know. So there's Mainline and then there's Regional. But the Regional flights, they leave out of like these gates that are just like so far away in the airport. They're on my gate right there, actually. And I see the plane. The plane is there. B-34, y'all see that? That's my gate. And then they're going to plane right there, so... I'm gonna see if I get on this flight. 